Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know how I bleed I do this for my little boys, cause they look up to me Cup real muddy and blood real stuffy, I'm in here a plea for justice as community members came together outside of a morning 5th District Police Station asking for the public's help in solving the murder. It's about 1.30 in the morning and um, it, I froze, basically. We don't know the circumstances, but we do know we lost one. Out and I didn't see anything. I checked my phone. I didn't see anything. Chicago don't sleep. And someone either drove past Someone seen something, maybe they scared to say something. You can only pray that something like this doesn't happen, but unfortunately, sometimes it comes right to your front steps. Saturday, May 6, 2023. At around 1.42 a.m., Chicago police received an alert from an Apple Watch. Moments later, they would receive a shot spotter alert of shots fired on 81st and Blackstone on the south side of Chicago. It was around 2.15 a.m. when officers were sent to the area to investigate. And when they arrived, they found a woman laying in her front yard with shot wounds to the body. 495. Chicago police scanners in the early morning hours Saturday responding to what appears to be a 911 alert from an Apple Watch in the vicinity of where a mortally wounded Ariana Preston was found on the south side of Chicago. She was shot multiple times outside of her family home near 81st and Blackstone early Saturday morning just as she was returning home from work. Neighbors say that's officer Ariana Preston pulling up outside her Avalon Park home after her police shift early Saturday morning. Surveillance video shared exclusively with ABC7 shows the person neighbors say is Preston turning off the lights to her personal vehicle and crossing South Blackstone Avenue to her family's home. That's when a dark car pulls up, stops, and at least one person jumps out. 95 is an auto accident but coming from an Apple Watch, 8155 South Blackstone, 8155 Blackstone, Apple Watch. 24-year-old off-duty Chicago police officer Ariana Preston was identified as the female shot. Responding officers immediately rendered aid and called for EMS after seeing that she was CPD. Fearing that EMS wouldn't make it in time, one of those officers then took her to University of Chicago Hospital, where she would later be pronounced deceased. Ariana had just entered her shift when she pulled up in the front of her house. It was moments later that four suspects pulled up in a stolen vehicle as Officer Preston proceeded to the front door of her home. One of the suspects hopped out and opened fire on the off-duty officer, who returned fire. The car then speeds off. Outside, investigators say 24-year-old officer Ariana Preston laid in her family's front yard, shot multiple times. Shot spotter detected gunfire in the same area. Patrol officers responding. About a half hour later, the video shows Chicago police responding to the scene with SUVs swarming in from every direction. Officers quickly race back to their cars, speeding off in search of the suspects. Neighbors say detectives quickly collected all of this video as part of their investigation. Doorbell video showing first responders rushing to the scene. Squad, it's not looking good. Get an ambulance here now. Investigators say another officer brought Preston to the hospital, but doctors couldn't save her. Chicago don't sleep. And someone either drove past, someone seen something, maybe they scared to say something. It hurts. I knew this young woman. You see these young people come willing to serve. Every time we lose a servant, a, a, a hero, I mean... It's pretty tragic. It was reported that she had been struck both in the face and in the neck. One of the suspects would then steal the officer's gun before fleeing in the stolen vehicle. The recording raising questions about how long it took for police and EMTs to respond to the deadly shooting. Officer Ariana Preston suffering multiple gunshot wounds in what detectives believe was an armed robbery just outside her Avalon Park home. No mother wants to wake up to the tragic news that their child is dead and dead to something as awful and tragic as gunfire. The 24-year-old was a three-year veteran with CPD. Preston was set to graduate with her master's degree from Loyola University on May 13th. But instead of a celebration, her family and fellow police comrades are now planning her funeral. 
Investigators and SWAT teams surrounded a home Sunday night near 76th and South Bishop, bellowing commands. We have the building surrounded. Come out with your hands up. The ABC 7i team learned hours after that standoff, investigators arrested two men and two women in connection to Officer Preston's death. The four suspects will later torch the stolen vehicle and sell Officer Preston's gun. Frazier, who happens to be the youngest of the four, called a friend to brag about what they had just did. The suspects are Travell Breland, Joseph Brooks, both who are 18, Jaquan Buchanan, who is 19, and Jalen Frazier, who is 16 and charged as an adult. A violent crime spree that court documents show had Officer Preston as the sixth victim. All now face first degree murder and armed robbery charges in Saturday's killing, all of them with a criminal history. Three of the suspects were 14 at the time of their first arrest. The youngest was arrested for the first time at just 13. That morning they had committed several other armed um, robberies and uh, a vehicle theft, motor vehicle theft. Officials say the group started in the 900 block of East 46th Street, where at gunpoint they stole personal belongings of a 33-year-old woman. They then stole a red Kia Forte in Bronzeville and drove to Washington Heights, where again at gunpoint they robbed two other women. They robbed a man in Calumet Heights before ending the spree outside of Preston's home in Avalon Park. Joseph Brooks, 18. He's been arrested nine times since 2019. Charges involve a stolen car, theft, and armed robbery. Last September, he was sent to juvenile detention for a carjacking he committed while on probation and was classified as a violent juvenile offender. Jaquan Buchanan, also 18, was arrested in 2019 for robbery. While on probation, he was arrested again for carjacking. Last November, a juvenile arrest warrant was issued related to both of those crimes. Then there's 19-year-old Travell Breland, who has faced multiple charges as an adult and a juvenile. He too was on probation at the time of the murder. His record dates back to 2018 and includes attacking a teacher and pushing his mother down the stairs. He's never been given more than probation or supervision. The youngest suspect, Jalen Frazier, is 16. His first arrest in 2019 was at 13. He served four years probation. While on probation for robbery, he was arrested multiple times for weapons offenses, armed robbery, and having a stolen car. He too spent time in juvenile detention. Defendant Brooks stated that all the defendants were armed and that they ran up to victim six, Officer Preston. He further admitted that the officer reached for her gun and that he shot first towards her. They burnt the Kia using lighter fluid. We know that at least three of the four offenders exited the vehicle, and we believe that at least two of the offenders fired their weapon. Ariana had just served three years on the force and just completed her master's degree in criminal justice. She worked out of the Calumet 5th District on the far south side of Chicago. Now, when it comes to this story, I'm a little conflicted only because the media reports that these teenagers were out on the crime spree. And yes, while that may be the case, it's something that tells me that this could possibly have been a setup. But I don't know, y'all let me know y'all thoughts down in the comments, man. And if you haven't already, take the time to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I got y'all covered on smoke heat. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. You wanted to help create a better future for Chicago, but the incomprehensible actions of four offenders took that future from her, and the loss to the city is tremendous. Her fellow officers gathering to honor a life ripped away that had so much more to offer. I would like for us to pause for a moment of silence to honor Officer Ariana Preston, who was tragically taken from us. This officer had a very bright future ahead of her. She was a, a beacon in the community. Police did not wish to comment on the response time during today's press conference. Through court documents, we did learn that Preston's gun was stolen at the scene. Frazier admitted to taking the gun and then selling it. Right now, the whereabouts of that weapon are unknown. I'ma sip all night to the pain gone. I'm knowing that they hate me since I came round. I've been loyal as fuck to the end of.